Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, it's been about a week since I released the demo for Chester Into the Light, and everybody seems to actually like it. Um, I've seen a few comments here and there, people who have problems with it, and you know, that's okay. You know, I'm not here to make a perfect game. <laughs> I don't think anybody ever will. Uh, but one thing I did want to address, though, is it's frequently been coming up is, oh, it's a clone of Poppy Playtime or Garden of Bon Bon. Uh, it's not. I actually, believe it or not, did not draw inspiration from either of those games. Have I played them? Yeah, 100%. I played both Poppy Playtimes, I played both Garden of Bonbons. Um, my game doesn't pull from, you know, their, their gameplay. Uh, what, what differentiates my game is that it's not here to set up some lore or, you know, some big crazy story that's going to be split into, you know, six parts. I'm just here to tell a story that I thought was cool. Unfortunately, yeah, it falls, I guess, under the mascot horror genre. And I know it's really big right now, but I'm going to give you guys a brief history of Chester. I promise I'll make it quick. Uh, I think it was 2021 or 2022. I think early 2022. Uh, me and my friend Joshua, we were just hyped up on energy drinks. We were at his house one night, and we're like, dude, what if we made a you know, horror game in one night? And we're like, oh my god, let's go. So, funny enough, that's how the first Chester game showed up. It was actually going to be called Bedtime, and we wanted to call it Lucid for like a lucid dream. Whole big old story. Uh, that game just kind of, you know, evolved from there, and I'm going to be real, it's not my best work, and, yeah, you know, I learned a lot from it, but uh, I went from there, you know, I saw, you know, a lot of people liked it, some people didn't, and that's okay. But I saw that some people were, you know, actually impressed with it. They liked it, I watched some playthroughs, and it was cool. Uh, Fusion Z Gamer, you know, even even he played it. it. It was really cool to see that. So I saw the success in that. I said, you know what? I think I have a story to tell that we can continue this about this kid. You know, his name is now James. We know that. Um, I want to tell James' story. You know, we're going to see what's going to happen. So March of 2022, I got started on Chester Into the Light. When I made this game, I, I think Poppy Playtime, I think the first one was out. Garden of Bon Bon wasn't even a thing. Um, like I said, I've been working on this for, you know, a little over a year now so it, it, for me it wasn't trying to pull from other games that were existing and again I'm not sitting here bashing these games either I'm just saying this is my personal project that I wanted to create to be unique and it just so happens I unveil it and now you know we have huge mascot horror games coming out you know every other day uh, I just want to clarify to you guys it's not meant to be one of these games it's not gonna be some short quick money grab game it's a genuine story that I want to tell um, Chester Into the Light is, you know, no spoilers intended here, but it's going to be teaching the player a lesson on fear. It's not really about, like I said, setting up lore. It's more so letting the player walk away with something to think about. Um, I'm hoping that's what differentiates my games and my future game that I'm not going to talk about yet, but it is in early development right now. Uh, I, I want to teach players, I guess, lessons that I personally learned and things that I think they can apply to their daily lives, you know, that, that, that's my goal with making games. Uh, anyways, I've been rambling on too long, but I just wanted to let you guys know that and address some of these issues. If you're one of these people that, you know, maybe you saw my game and you're not impressed with it, that's okay. I got no problem with you. Uh, I hope to impress you, but if not, that's okay. Wish you the best. Uh, thanks for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. Have a good one.